All right, folks, so I'm back on the Pacific Crest Trail. Just a small part of it here. Hiking to some lakes. There should be two different lakes. Hopefully I'm gonna hike to both of them. They're very close together, pretty cool. So this is near Donner Lake uh, off of Highway 80. So a little more north of where I usually go to. Just a different area, but the same kind of mountain range. Sierra Nevada mountain range, so pretty cool. See what I can find here. What an incredible landscape, that's for sure. Really incredible. All these granite rocks, trees. It's just endless painting subjects. Endless painting subjects. Continuing on through the forest. Through the forest. Pretty epic, man. Pretty awesome. The weather's like perfect. Not too cold, not too hot. Yeah, check out these trees with the green moss on them. That's so cool. I gotta paint those one day. I've been seeing those for years. I always thought they're really cool. I'll have to do a study sometime for sure. Well, I hope I get to these lakes soon. Hopefully the lakes will be really cool to paint. That's what I'm hoping for. Hoping for some cool looking lakes. At least one of them. You know, I got a 50% chance that one of them's gonna look good enough to paint, cool enough to paint. Hopefully I can get two paintings in. That would be really nice. That's my initial plan, two paintings, but we'll see. Feeling good. Hopefully I can get there. Get there soon. Let's keep going, pushing on. Man, look at this view. Crazy. Unbelievable. This might be the most scenic trail I've walked so far in the past few weeks, in the past few episodes. Like, there's just so, there's so much I could paint out here. It's crazy. Really crazy. Now there's kind of a fork in the path here. Uh... I think I go this way. I just saw a guy walk this way. And uh, I'm pretty sure this is the way to the lakes. I definitely looked at you know, Google Maps a lot. I, I tried to study the trails and stuff. And I have a map in my phone, so I'm pretty good. I'm not gonna get lost. You know, the highway is right out there, actually. You can see the highway from here, so. I'm definitely coming back on this trail, no doubt. And this one is actually closer to my house by one hour. It's only a one hour drive instead of a two hour drive like the other trails I've been doing. So this is this is incredible. Yeah, hopefully these lakes look as amazing as I'm gonna as I think. And the look at the sky today is just very moody. Looks really awesome. Looks really awesome. I think it will definitely make for a good painting for sure. Wherever I end up painting. Ooh I can see one of the lakes already. All right, man, we made it. That wasn't a bad hike at all. That was like nothing. This is awesome. There's the lake. Wow. How cool is that? Oh yeah. Now I just gotta find a place to set up and paint it. Wow, look how moody this looks. Look at that blue. Look at that blue gray. This is incredible. Wow. Alright folks, I think I'm just going to go ahead and capture it right here. I'm here, it looks epic, so let's do it. Starting off with the water here, of course, obviously. This one was definitely a challenge. As you guys will see after this painting, I have some clips to show you why this was such a challenge. It dealt mainly with the water and the reflections. Things were just constantly, constantly changing, and that's something I didn't really take into account and didn't realize when I first got to the lake and I was looking at it, it seemed pretty constant. But as we know in nature, nothing is ever really constant. Even, even when there's overcast lighting, thing, the light is a little more constant, doesn't change as much. But overall, the main thing I was able to capture with this painting was the color harmony. The harmony of that day 
And what I mean by harmony is basically the color scheme, you know, the type of colors that were there. Everything was very gray. I was using a lot of gray, a lot of ivory black in almost all of my color mixtures. And now why would I use ivory black? Well, with watercolor, when, you know, you use ivory black, uh, when you, when you thin ivory black down with water, it ends up being gray. So it's like adding gray to all my mixtures. So I added gray to the water, the color of the water, that kind of grayish light blue, uh, a little stronger sky, that purple in the sky, which is really nice. You know, the green trees in the background, very grayed down, a lot of softness in the background. <clears throat> So I struggled with the water a bit. I got some nice texture there, some nice dry brushing. And the way to do that is just minimum water and quick, fast strokes. Very light pressure on the paper. Just kind of let the paper do its thing. And I decided for this composition to add some of the foreground trees that were right along the edge of the lake. Um, looking at this composition, I wish I would have kind of tilted the trees just a bit more. Uh, they should have been more at an angle rather than straight up and down like they were. And when I did these, I thought I did make them more at an angle, but uh, looking at them now, it definitely just a little, it makes it makes composition a little bit stagnant. Like it should have just been a little more tilted inward towards each other, just to create a little more movement. A little bit of splattering there, just trying to be loose with the application of these leaves. Uh, it was pretty challenging. It was kind of the challenging part of the painting. <clears throat> I mean, the whole thing was challenging, to be honest. And I decided to darken some of the background trees. There was some darks there. You know, all the values in this scene were pretty, pretty dark. But nothing was nothing was really black. Nothing was really really dark. So it was an interesting, really interesting harmony to capture. So I'm happy that I got the harmony, but. Overall, it's not like the most pleasing scene, but I was there. I hiked, I went and saw it, I captured it the best I could. And uh, at the end of the day, that's really what it's all about. Not the best work, not the worst work, but you know how it goes sometimes, very challenging, different kind of scene. And the patterns on the water constantly changing. Uh, so if you look at it now, it's completely different than it was earlier, so. Uh, I had to deal with that and I kind of just chose a pattern and, and stuck with it but uh, you know the light and the darknesses the reflections everything kept changing but I think I captured the essence of it and kind of the harmony of, of that what's out here uh, the harmony is probably the most accurate thing that I captured for now I'm okay with what happened all right so the next leak should just be couple hundred feet. Doesn't look much different, of course. Just water. All in one spot. <laughs> I'm gonna walk a little bit further down the trail just to see if there's any other interesting things to paint, any other interesting views. I think it actually goes to the other side of the lake, so you might see some views over that hill, possibly. Just see what's out there. But I kind of don't want to paint the same exact thing I just did, so try to find something a little bit different, possibly. So there's the normal trail, but it looks like there's a vista view over here. Just go up here a little bit. Oh wow, look at this. Oh dude. Wow. There's Donner Lake down there. I was telling you guys about that earlier. Wow. <laughs> this view blows that other view out of the water. So, something like that with the mountains, the lake, the trees. Oh yeah, no doubt. All right, I'm gonna get set up here. Knock out a second painting. Hopefully this one will be pretty epic. It looks pretty epic, so see what I can do.
All right, folks, so this was definitely an epic location for a great painting. Another challenging painting, of course, because, uh, you know, just a lot of different planes here, a lot of things happening. I know I wanted the background to be soft, kind of bleed into the sky. Maybe it bled a little bit too much in the end, but uh, it is what it is. So I slowly just started working my way down to these different different planes, different values, light green of the hills, starting with the, the sky, the gray, and then purple, some purple hills, and then the light green. And uh, now I'm painting Donner Lake. That was really one of the darkest values was this uh, lake. So I tried to show that in this painting. And uh, take note of as things are coming closer or more toward the bottom of the painting, closer toward the viewer, I'm lightening them up. Or uh, not lightening them up, I'm warming them up, excuse me. So much warmer colors creates a lot of distance. And that is really what I was seeing, you know, a lot warmer colors. Uh, they did start to get a little bit cooler at the bottom. You know, there was a lot more distance uh, in some areas more than others. And uh, just some slight shadowing in the background there. You know, the lighting was very difficult here. There was a lot of spotlight lighting going on. It was, it, was, it was a very interesting day. You know, it was partly cloudy, mostly cloudy, but there was some light peeking through, but it looks overcast. So, it, you know, it was just very challenging, very challenging overall. So that's kind of what this painting looks like. It looks, sometimes it looks a little confused. Like, is it sunny? Is it cloudy? You know, what is it? And, uh, that that's really how the day was. You know, I was kind of confused. Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? What's happening? So <laughs> it, it created it created a confusing type of painting look. So that's the reality. I really like doing these trees in the foreground. I think it, it just added. I was able to be more expressive with my brushwork, and there was some really cool like red kind of trees that were dying that were dead. So I was like, all right, I'm definitely going to put these red trees in there. It's really cool, man. Just a really unique color for a tree. And very vibrant. Uh, so it ended up being a little bit dark on my paper, but that's all right. It's in the foreground, so it needed to be a little bit darker. And I did a lot of splattering in the foreground. You know, just I had a lot of fun with this one. A lot of color variety, color variation in that foreground. You know, some reds, greens, browns, blues, all kinds of stuff. So this one overall, I think, came out better than the first one. Luckily, uh, you know, I don't know. I still think maybe I could have made the values a bit differently in the background. Maybe did one more glaze or like a wash for like the background hills a bit. But I do like the, the value structure that I have for this painting. So maybe it wasn't, it's not as necessary as I thought since, you know, it is the background. But anyway, I'm happy with this one overall. All right, folks, that was, uh, this is an incredible spot, man. Just up on this hill, on this cliff or whatever. It's so quiet, no one else around. I think that painting came out way better than the first one, which is pretty cool. We'll take a look at it once I get back to the car. Look at this view, man. I, I don't even have to, there's no words for it, you know? I don't even have to say anything, you just, it's incredible. I could literally just paint any view. I could paint this way, these trees, that tree. You know, paint this. The lights already changed dramatically. But this is just unreal. There's so much to paint. There's a lake right over here. I could literally fill up the sketchbook just in this one spot without even moving. What an incredible place, man. What a what a awesome spot, man. This is this is so epic, dude. So glad I came out and did this. This is amazing. Anyway, I'm gonna pack up now and head back before it gets dark, too dark. Finally home, let's take a look at these two sketches from today. So here's the first one. Uh, you know, not, not that great, but you know, Capture what that what was there. I guess we got some purple sky. We got this lake that I didn't really capture that great uh, Some nice trees and stuff You know overall I like the texture. I like the dry brushing um, 
nothing too remarkable here more of just documenting what was there rather than creating something kind of a warm-up for the day I guess I love this one the view is amazing and I got to be a lot more expressive here with the colors um, overall just a better better sketch a better painting but uh, you know capture the distance kind of the mood of the sky and everything and a little bit of shadows and stuff here but I love the expressiveness of the foreground and the colors and bringing the warmth closer to us definitely like this one better yeah not 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 too bad for uh, some hiking and two paintings today so there you have it folks not the greatest work today but I went out there I did it enjoyed myself had some fun I'm pretty tired time for me to get some dinner and stuff so I'll catch you on the next episode, maybe next week or something. Peace.